today's video, we are going to talk about factoring by grouping with more than three terms, and we are going to explain everything in details. On the first example, we have 8MT minus 12AT plus 10MH minus 15AH. All of the given examples in this video can be solved using factoring by grouping. But how can we check whether the given polynomials can be solved using factoring by grouping? So to check, let us have negative 12 divided by 8, that is negative 3 over 2. And then, let's have negative 15 divided by 10, that is same as negative 3 over 2. So if the first two coefficients have the same ratios as the last two coefficients, then you can solve the given polynomials by grouping. So let us have 8 empty minus 12 AT plus 10 MH minus 15 AH. So let us factor by group. The greatest common factor of 8 empty and negative 12 AT, that is 4 T. So let us divide 8 MT divided by 4 T. Let us cancel T. And then 8M divided by 4M, that is 2M. And then let's have negative 12 AT divided by 4T. Let us cancel variable T. Negative 12 AT divided by 4, that is negative 3A. This will be negative 3A. On the other side, the greatest common factor of 10MH and negative 15AH that is 5H. So this will be 10MH divided by 5H. Let us cancel variable H. 10M divided by 5, that is 2M. And then negative 15AH divided by 5H. Let us cancel this one. Negative 15A divided by 5, that is negative 3A. So therefore, we are going to have 2m minus 3a times the quantity 4t plus 5h. And this will be our answer. On number 2, we have 18lv plus 6le plus 24ov plus 8oe. So to check whether the given polynomials can be solved using factoring by grouping, let us have 6 over 18, that is 1 third. Or you can write as 18 over 6, that is 3. And then let's have 8 over 24, that is 1 third. Since we have the same ratios, let us solve this one using factoring by grouping. The greatest common factor of 18LV and 6LE, that is 6L. So let us have 18LV divided by 6L. Let us cancel L. 18V divided by 6, that is 3V. And then 6LE divided by 6L. Let us cancel this one, that is E. And then the GCF of 24OV and 8OE, that is 8O. So let us have 24OV divided by 8O. Let us cancel O. 24V divided by 8, that is 3V. And then 8OE divided by 8O. Let us cancel 8O. This will be E. So therefore, we are going to have 3V plus E times the quantity 6L plus 8O. And this will be our answer. On example number 3, we have 4WT plus 2WH plus 6IT plus 3IH. Let us solve this one using factoring by grouping. So the greatest common factor of 4WT and 2WH, 
that is 2w. So let us have 4wt divided by 2w. Let us cancel variable w. 4t divided by 2, that is 2t. And then we have 2wh divided by 2w. Let us cancel this one. This will be h. And then the greatest common factor of 6it and 3ih, that is 3i. So this will be 6it divided by 3i. Let's cancel variable i. 6t divided by 3, that is 2t. And then 3ih divided by 3i. Let's cancel this one, that is h. So we are going to have 2t plus h times the quantity 2w plus 3i. And this will be our answer. On number 4, we have 15te minus 12he plus 10ty minus h or 8hy. So let us factor by group. The greatest common factor of 15te and negative 12he that is 3 E. So let us have 15 TE divide by 3 E. Let us cancel E. 15 T divide by 3, that is 5 T. And then let's have negative 12 H E divide by 3 E. Let us cancel E. Negative 12 H divide by 3, that is negative 4 H. On the other side, the GCF of 10 TY and negative 8 hy that is 2y so let us have 10 ty divide by 2y let us cancel y this will be 5 t and negative 8 hy divide by 2y let us cancel this one negative 8 h divide by 2 that is negative 4 h so this will be 5 t minus 4 h times the quantity 3e plus 2y. And this will be our answer. Example number 5, we have 10ti minus 8ts plus 15hi minus 12hs. So let us factor this one by group. The greatest common factor of 10ti and negative 8ts, that is 2t. So let us have... 10 ti divided by 2t, that is cancel t, 10 i divided by 2, that is 5 i. And then negative 8 ts divided by 2t, that is cancel t, negative 8 s divided by 2, that is negative 4 s. And then the greatest common factor of 15 hi and negative 12 hs, that is. 3h. So let us have 15hi divided by 3h. Let us cancel h. This will be 5i. And then negative 12hs divided by 3h. Let us cancel this one. That is negative 4s. So therefore, we are going to have 5i minus 4s times the quantity 2t plus 3h and this will be our answer on number six we have 88 fo plus 16 ro plus 99 fm plus 18 rm so let us factor this one by group the gcf of 88 fo and 16 ro that is 8o so let us have 88 FO divided by 8O. Let us cancel O. 88 F divided by 8, that is 11 F. And then 16 RO divided by 8O. Let us cancel O. 16 R divided by 8, that is 2 R. And then the GCF of 99 FM and 18 RM 
that is 9m. So 99fm divided by 9m, let us cancel m, that is 11f. And then 18rm divided by 9m, let us cancel m, 18r divided by 9, that is 2r. So we are going to have 11f plus 2r times the quantity 8o plus 9m. And this will be our answer. On our last example, we have 72ne plus 16we plus 27hn plus 6wh. So let us factor this one by group. The greatest common factor of 72NE and 16WE, that is 8E. So let us divide 72NE divided by 8E. Let us cancel E. 72N divided by 8, that is 9N. And then 16WE divided by 8E. Let us cancel this one. 18W divided by 8, that is 2W. And then, the GCF of 27HN and 6WH, that is 3H. So, 27HN divided by 3H, that is cancel H. 27N divided by 3, that is 9N. And then, 6WH divided by 3H, let's cancel this one, this will be 2W. So we are going to have 9N plus 2W times the quantity 8E plus 3H. And this will be our answer. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.